quarterbacks this week as opposed to one like you're uh, used to? Yeah, and, 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 and I think that, that's, that's part of the, uh, the, the mindset of an opponent. I mean, that, that, it, it, it makes sense to, uh, uh, if, if you have two guys that are capable, which, uh, you know, based on our video study, it certainly appears as, as if they have two that are, um, it, it's a headache. You know, there, there's a reason uh, to do it. Um, and uh, it uh, you know, poses a challenge, and, and we'll find out uh, come Saturday what we see more of. And, and so we just got to make sure we handle it right. And uh, uh, you know, certainly from a uh, communication standpoint, game plan standpoint, we got to know who's in the game. Do you, you end up watching a lot of Kansas films just because the, the one guy hasn't, I mean, he's only played in, I guess, one half? Yeah, you know, you know what, we haven't. And, and, yeah. and uh, specifically to you know the scheme of, of, of Boise State, um, what you don't want to do is, you know, as much as you want to have an understanding of your opponent, um, and no, there's not a lot of snaps of him playing quarterback in a Boise State uniform. Um, you know, it, it, uh, um, what you don't want to do is chase ghosts, I guess would be the, the, the easy answer. Coach, uh, Boise State and you guys have been practicing inside. What, what, what does that aspect take the most out of on, on defense, practicing indoors? I think it breaks up the monotony. I mean, I, I, it might as well be a positive for us. It's a little bit different than being outside. And, uh, you know, we, we've gotten plenty of work uh, both on the grass down in Lewiston for, you know, what seemed like a month. It was probably only 10 days. Uh, and then, uh, you know, at our place. So it breaks up the monotony. Get, get to go inside. The, the, the lighting's different. Everything's different. And I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see how that's a negative. So, um, and then we'll crank it up, uh, uh, get outside for a little bit of a walk through tomorrow, and then uh, obviously the game Saturday. Later tonight, when you watch some of the defensive backs tape, what, what are you looking forward to most on on seeing what they did? Uh, specific to practice? Yeah. Yeah, you know, just uh, you know, guys making sure they got good eye control. You know, anytime you, you face an offense that uh, does such a great job of establishing the run, um, and then you know are able to hit the the, the home runs through the air. Um, that, that's just something that, uh, from a defensive back standpoint, you, you got to make sure that you're, you're dialed in on each and every snap. Every run play, you're one play closer to a pass, you know. Um, and, and certainly this, this is a group that, uh, um, you know, had, sees their, their share of practices through spring ball and fall camp, and, you know, specific to, to, uh, to our defensive back. So I think, you know, they, they're excited for the challenge, as they should be. Um, and uh, we, we also know that uh, in every sense of the world, we'll be tested uh, on Saturday. That's why I struggle with the um, yeah, actually switching direction. What criteria yeah. does this team look at when deciding to accept walk-on players? Yeah, there's a number of things that uh, uh, that go into that. You know, it's it's needed at the position. You know, you know, what you can't do is have a roster full of defensive backs. You got to make sure that you have that enough offensive alignment, defensive alignment, and on down. And so that that's a big piece of it. You know, you, you obviously fill a, a recruiting class each winter with uh, what what is 25. Uh, Scholarships a year, uh, and then once you know, ultimately getting to a, a total of 85 scholarship players, and then within that, you know, obviously that that that's some total. Uh, you know, as you break it down from an individual position basis, same thing. You have to make sure that you have numbers at at, at each position, and then what the the walk-on process simply. Uh, or, or uh, you know, most of the time turns into is, is what's our need. Um, and then for the most part, there, there's a, you know, uh, a need for at least a, you know, a handful, you know, one, one to two guys at every spot. In some spots on a particular year, you may need uh, you know, five to six. You know? and so we, we, we appreciate those guys that come out here and work their tails off. Um, and it's a, it's a major part of the, uh, um, the, the preparation on a weekend basis is what uh, a lot of those guys do. Uh, Coach, this is a team that gets north and south offensively. They have a, a bunch of tight ends and fullbacks. Is it tougher to kind of recreate their offense when you guys are there, Ray, right, and, and don't really have those position players sure. uh, on hand? Yeah, and, and, and that, that's, that's you know, one of the challenges, you know, and, and you know, the, what, what we make it sure of is that, you know, other people have to flip the script in terms of if they don't have enough receivers to run our air raid offense. So we all have issues, you know, and so we don't dwell on it. You know, we, we uh, get the necessary guys in the right spots to uh, simulate as best we can regardless of what offense we face. But, no, no, that's one of the challenges that we face, and it's, it's uh, not a new challenge for us. It's something we, we uh, uh, continue to deal with, and we've got a good group of guys to, to give us the best look possible. Thanks, Coach. Thank, Thank you, Coach. You.